The truth is that, that our industry, in addition to the outbreaks that are happening at our plants, our industry poses a serious threat um, in, in effectively bringing on the next pandemic. With CDC yeah. data um, showing that okay. three or four infectious diseases come from, from animals, um, and the conditions inside of inside of our farms can sometimes be petri dishes uh, for for new diseases. Last week, I appeared live on Fox Business, pretending to be the CEO of the largest pig factory farming corporation in the world, Smithfield Foods. But while people laughed it off all around the world, this wasn't just some stunt to get views on social media. The truth about diseases in factory farms should be news, but the media isn't reporting it. The reason is pretty simple. The media no longer serves ordinary people. As subscription revenues have dried up, the press has switched to a business model based on ads. And guess who some of the biggest advertisers are? You got it, the big food corporations. And here's what they don't want you to know about where your food is coming from. Fact one, American factory farms are super incubators for lethal viruses. When you watch Fox News, you'll hear all about how Mike Pence wants to defend the American hamburger. What you won't hear is about all the diseases Mike Pence is defending along with it. This was the finding of a diverse group of scientific experts at the Pew Commission and Johns Hopkins. When you crowd animals face to face in cages the size of their own bodies, viral diseases are inevitable. And while the industry claims it takes biosecurity seriously, there's basically no accountability. When children were getting sick due to tainted pork back in 2015, the CDC attempted to gain access to the factory farms, but they were shut down because in the words of the former chief veterinarian at the USDA Food Safety and Inspection Service, no one dares to stand up to the pork industry. Google pandemic history, and you'll see a long list of viral pandemics that came from domesticated farm animals. Yet if you read the media, all you hear about is pangolins and wet markets. If we're gonna stop the next pandemic, that has to change. Fact two, the meat industry tortures animals and human beings. There have been so many stories about COVID outbreaks at slaughterhouses. They've been a top viral hotspot. Tens of thousands of workers have now been sickened in the meat industry. What the media doesn't tell you is that this is nothing new. This is an industry that profits off of torture and misery. So it should come as no surprise that it continues on during a pandemic. And I know this from personal experience. I worked with an employee whistleblower to expose a brutal practice known as ventilation shutdown, or VSD. These pigs could not be slaughtered due to COVID-19 outbreaks, creating a huge disposal problem for companies like Smithfield, or in this case, Iowa Select Farms, a supplier to JBS and Tyson. But rather than choosing a more ethical option and showing at least a bit of compassion for these poor animals, they were literally roasted alive. It was the cheapest way to kill thousands of these animals. And for the meat industry, money is all that matters. And for bringing this horrific misconduct to light, it was me and not the company that's now being criminalized. That's right, I'm facing a felony prosecution and potentially years in prison for exposing some of the worst animal cruelty imaginable. Fact three. Factory farming shows us that our distorted relationship with nature could kill us too. The media loves to talk about our food system as just a personal choice. But personal choices don't cause mass extinctions. For millions of years, human beings were just one of a myriad of species coexisting on this planet. But when we domesticated animals about 10,000 years ago, our relationship with all life on earth fundamentally changed. We became the master species at the expense of thousands of now extinct others. What this pandemic shows us is that that attitude of domination is coming back to bite us and hard. Whether it be pandemic disease, environmental destruction, or a profound sense of disconnect from the world around us, the bizarre world of factory farming is a metaphor for our relationship with the rest of life on planet Earth. And the future of the planet and its species, our home, is the future of the human race. And that human race is now engaged in a race against time, as the sixth mass extinction event is upon us. 
The survival of our own species is in peril too. To prevent that, we must fundamentally rethink our approach to all life on Earth. Do we want to continue to dominate or will we be caretakers instead? What we do with modern factory farming will tell us which future we will choose. If Fox and other media outlets had been willing to ask these questions honestly, I wouldn't have been forced to pull the stunt that I did. But we simply can't wait any longer. Corporate control of our food system is too dangerous and the stakes are too high. And if tricking Fox News is the only way to get that message out there, you can expect people like me to be grabbing headlines again very soon. Help us win this fight while we still can by signing our petition at nomorefactoryfarms.com.